I am super excited to bring you the first review of the Burr Rental Property Investment Strategy Made Simple, David Green's new book through Bigger Pockets. At the time of this recording, it's not even out yet. Mine says advanced reader copy. Ooh. So let's dig in. Okay, first thoughts when I finished reading this book. David Green has done it again. What is the Burr strategy? You may have heard it thrown around a little bit here and there, or even on the most recent Bigger Pockets episode, I think 327. It stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat because systems equal success. Why is the Burr strategy getting so popular? It is because it allows you to complete the purchase of a property and then recover sometimes more than all of the capital you put in it to increase the velocity of your money. So instead of dumping $40,000 into a house and then needing to save $40,000 for the next house, you could dump $40,000, $60,000, whatever into a house and then get that amount back, still have the house, still have it cash flowing, and then go buy another property right away, which over time compounds to just give you amazing results. I'm just gonna give you a brief tidbit about each section. So in buy, he talks about personal distress, property distress, and market distress. So personal distress is probably where you get the best deals. That's death, divorce, foreclosure, whatever the case may be, but it's hard to come by those. So property distress is kind of where the Burr strategy picks up because it's still very good profit margins, but it's a lot more common where a house is run down or a landlord had a really bad experience or I don't know, a fire and the property is in really bad shape and whoever owns it just doesn't want to or doesn't have the time or knowledge to fix it. And so it's a property that wouldn't qualify for traditional bank financing. So you come in with cash, boom, huge discount. As with everything in real estate, remember profit is made when you buy. Rehab is the meat and potatoes of the Burr strategy. This is where you either lose a ton of money or you keep, he calls it water in the bucket and I'll let you get the analogy there. but you keep as much profit in the deal as humanly possible by using good, efficient, and affordable contractors. And he also mentions handymen for a lot of strategies, which is actually a pretty cool tactic that a lot of people don't utilize because it's easier to do one-stop shopping, but saving money and efficiency is the name of the game here. It also talks about ways to add value to the property through the rehab. So knowing what to actually spend time fixing, uh, adding additional square footage and different strategies for that, but I'm not gonna give away the good stuff. The rehab strategies in this book are awesome. For the rent portion, it talks about asking a property manager, using rentometer, both of which are great strategies, both of which I think are mentioned in long distance real estate investing, and both of which are strategies that I use. But he mentioned something kind of cool in here. I have asked Craigslist, you know, landlords, I've, I've looked on Craigslist to see what they're renting the property for. He mentions asking how many applications they're getting. Now that's a cool tactic because if somebody has a property rented for $1,000 and they're not getting a single application, it's probably rented too high or asking too much. But if somebody has a property listed at $1,000 and it is getting like 25 applications a week, well, you probably got room to grow the, to increase a little bit on the rent. So that's a cool strategy to know how many applications are coming in at that price point. And you can even ask and see maybe some of the amenities to decide if your property you know, is comparable to that. So a lot of cool stuff in the rental portion of the book as well to help you get the maximum out of your rents. The refinance portion talks about a lot of different things with relationships to lenders, different kinds of financing, different kinds of financing to purchase, different kinds of financing for the refinance, uh, different holding periods and just all kinds of stuff. But I found it kind of interesting, loan to value versus loan to cost. I had never actually heard of a lender doing loan to cost because that's just not really a thing very much in my area. And I'd love to tell you all about that, but I'm gonna let you read it in the book because I thought it was cool and he does a better job explaining and why you need to stay away from that. The repeat section is all about building systems. Now, if you know anything about David Green, you know he is the right man to talk about building systems. David went from being a police officer working overtime to being one of, if not the top real estate agent in the Bay Area very, very, very quickly. You don't do that without systems in place. David's mind is brilliant when it comes to efficiency and effectiveness and the other E's that I'll let you read in the book. But just know the repeat strategies and the systems are awesome. He has an analogy in there and it's a story that he created 
that I actually texted him about after I finished reading the book and was like, oh, did, did you create that analogy or did you hear that story? Because I never heard that story before. And like I had a meeting to go to and I just kept flipping the page and reading and reading and reading. And I was almost late to the meeting because it was just that good of an analogy for driving his point home. I loved it. It's a fishing analogy and it really, really helps you understand systems. So don't forget to read the whole book because you wouldn't want to miss that. If you are interested in single family real estate investing, I 100% recommend that you read this book. It is so chopped full of value that I went through not one, not two, but two and a half or three quarters or maybe almost three highlighters reading this book. I, I don't know if you can see this as I flip through. You probably can't. There is a lot of yellow in this book, so much so. I might need to go through with another highlighter and pick out what's the most important parts of the highlighted portions because it's just going to take a long time to read back through the highlights because there's, this is not a bad thing, too much value in the book. I'm going to drop a link down below to go buy the book on Amazon. When you're done reading it, if you got as much out of this book as I did, do my friend David a favor and go leave a review on Amazon. The reason I'm doing this video right now is because I tried to leave a review on Amazon and it's actually kind of funny. It won't let me leave a review until the book is released, which is kind of cool that I am able to re review it, but I'm waiting. So this is coming out before it's officially released because I want to leave a review of sorts somewhere. I'm also going to place a link down below for bigger pockets. If you go there and buy the book, you can actually buy additional value right now. You can get, uh, I want to say they have the ebook you can get right away, but then I think there's some additional video recordings with David talking about the book and different strategies. Go check it out. Tons of value add opportunities in there. Absolutely hurry up and do that before the opportunity is gone, but read the book and then let me know what you think. I want to hear if it was as impactful to you as it has been to me. Have a great day guys. And I'm sorry, this was not even close to two minutes, but the book is worth it.